we all know that J.R. Hicks is a Nobel Prize winner economist. When he got Nobel Prize and he had to deliver a lecture while getting the Nobel Prize, he declared that J.M. Keynes had invented liquidity function in economics. J.M. Keynes had invented the term liquidity. Before J.M. Keynes, no economist tried to discuss about liquidity. Keynes has brought liquidity term in economics. Liquidity means desire to keep cash. Liquidity means desire to keep cash. Marshall discussed desire to keep cash, but for precautionary motive. Fisher said demand for money for transaction purpose. But Keynes has cited three motives. Transaction motives, precautionary motive, and speculative motive. And due to three motives, there is demand for money in the capitalist economy. Jim Keynes said, say, Jim Keynes said that transaction motive is further divided into two parts. Income motive. Income motive. Business motive. Income motive and business motive. What is income motive? Income motive means person working in factory will get income after one month. But a hired labor working in your crop field or he will get per day, per day income. In USA, in Canada, salary is paid after 15 days, fortnightly income. This is called interval. What is the interval of income? If interval is 24 hours, then he will be hard labor. If interval is one fortnight, he must be in Canada or USA. And if he is in India, the interval will be one month. So for one month, people desire to keep some cash ready money to pay transactions day to day, hotel bill, taxi, cab, etc. That is called income motive. And this is business motive. Business motive also keeps, uh, keeps some cash ready for transaction to pay transport charges, raw material charges, anything immediately needed in business. So businessmen keep cash for transaction that is known as business motive. General people keep cash for to, 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 to do the transaction during interval period. So three motives and the main thing which is not liquidity trend. We were discussing what? Liquidity trap is a situation in which interest rate falls to lowest level and therefore and therefore entrepreneurs, investors would demand whatever you give they will take at that lowest price. So their demand will be infinity. So demand for money will be infinity at lowest interest rate. Although this situation does not come when the interest rate has certain uh, merit, that interest rate means what? Bank charges interest rate. Bank house rent. Bank electricity rent. Bank computer rent. 
bank is staff salary, all the paper paperwork, all the are calculated. It cannot be zero. It will be always more than three percent. So maintenance, only for maintenance, three percent interest will be charged. No profit. So interest rate cannot be tending to zero. Lowest. If if this happens, the demand for money will be finite. But this will not happen in real life. That means interest rate cannot fall after a certain minimum. Interest rate cannot be zero because at lowest interest rate demand for money will be infinity. So there is no question of any falling. When at lowest interest rate demand for money is infinity, then is there any further fall? Is there any further fall? Yes or no? No. Because large number of people are in queue to take at that rate. Infinity. So this is a most important factor which established that interest rate cannot be zero. If in, in any interview you are asked, is interest rate zero? No. Can we decrease or increase but not more? And uh, conceptually also it cannot be given yeah. <coughs> because of the liquidity trap. <coughs> so these are, <coughs> these are three motives of demand for money. I have not taken all this matter written. Yes, written, but uh, the liquidity trap you were discussing about some definitions and what we write down. Yes. Right on. Liquidity trap. Keynesian demand for money represented by L. L function. How do, how do we define liquidity trap? Liquidity trap is invented by James Keynes. Liquidity trap is a situation where the demand for money for the speculative purposes becomes infinite when interest rate has fallen to near zero. This establishes that interest rate cannot be zero. Interest rate cannot be zero. So we find that L1 is a function of R, L2 is a function of R, L is equal to L1 plus L2, M is a function of R. And this two is taken d1 by d are equal to zero. And and for that dl2 by dr less than zero, dl2 by dr dr equal to infinity that is liquidity trap. Liquidity trap in a situation like this.
they can get demand for money by integrating L1 L2 L1 plus L2 interest rate L1 is transaction plus precautionary Demand for money is liquidity function that is L1 R plus L2 demand for money
demand for money given by Keynes, concept given by Keynes, has in fact integrated all the available material on demand for money. For example, features, transaction, demand for money, Keynesian and Robertson's precautionary demand for money. And he cited his uh, invention of liquidity related to a speculative motive. What is a speculative motive? A speculative motive means money is demanded for future gains, future capital gains. Can say that people will invest at present. People will invest in present to get the future gain in future. If such type of activities is done, invest today and gain tomorrow. This is called a speculation. This type of activity is known as a speculative motive. So a speculative motive is done by entrepreneurs in order to get more profit in future by investing today. They invest their money in the purchase of bond, they invest their money in purchase of shares, and for that they take loan from the bank. Huge amount of loan they will take for future gain. Taking huge amount to in future he has vanished. True investors, true businessmen will take loan and repay loan. They can take more loan, repay more loan. Such type of growth of capital will take place in the company also. But liquidity pre preference theory 1936 became popular, but it was rejected by James Keynes, theory of liquidity preference is rejected by Hicks, Hicks and Hansen. That is known as ISL. As Google, when was it invented? ISL model invented by Hicks in which year?